So we've all seen the uh, mystery box, what's in the box videos on YouTube. Here's one for you. This morning, that dude is... <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J Philly Retro Toys. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for clicking onto this video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thank you for joining me for another toy hunting adventure. Guys, today we got something a little special, possibly. I don't know. I've never been here. We are at Liberty Thrift in Pottstown. Actually, I thought it was Pottstown. Um, the huge Liberty Thrift that I've been telling you about. Uh, I actually thought it was in Pottstown, but apparently it's uh, Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. So I stand corrected. Uh, Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. Pottstown, whatever, area. <laughs> Liberty Thrift, big Liberty Thrift. Um, guys, we're going to go in here today and we're going to uh, check it out. Again, this is my first time I've ever been here. One of the biggest thrift stores in our area, guys. Um, but that doesn't exactly mean that it's one of the biggest toy sections, unfortunately. Again, I don't know if it's big, uh, you know, a big toy section or not. I've never been in here. It's new to me. We're going to go in and find out together. Hopefully, they got some vintage toys out this morning. Hopefully, we can find some of the good. Let's go inside. Wait till you see this monster. So, guys, check this out. This used to be an old Kmart store. Look how huge it is. So I don't know what we're going to find, but hopefully some goody goods. Liberty, 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 liberty. Give me some good. All right, guys. So we're inside. Check this out. Look at this store, man. Huge. It looks like the books and DVDs and stuff are out that way. And it looks like the toys are back this way. So let's go back here and look at the toys first. Look at the size of this place. Holy crap. All right, so first things first, we do have some toys back here on the shelves, but I'm not really sure why. <laughs> um, do have some older stuff in these cases. Oh, look, there's a Bigfoot puzzle. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. There's a Simpsons Jeopardy game back there. Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, look, some old train stuff. That's cool. Pretty cool stuff. Tyco. Huh. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Get some Funko Pops down here for 10 bucks each. Shakes. There's a Darth Maul. Uh, not really seeing too much else over here. Some more Funko stuff. Got Hot Wheels for 50 cents each. And again, if I knew anything about Hot Wheels, you know, I might be able to look through these intelligently, but I know absolutely nothing. Yeah, this looks like a big old Imagine Next playset down there. Got some other Roblox stuff. What's over here? Some Nerf guns. Uh, it looks like all Nerf guns in these bins. There's a big old Frozen doll. Um, just some of the larger stuff over here I think there's a big plush dragon uh, we got some puzzles and some games there's some tiny puzzles I might be able to put together a tiny puzzle what do you think 500 pieces jelly beans <laughs> sure why not I got a bouncy horse over here. I'm still waiting. One of these days I'm gonna walk into one of these thrift, sco thrift stores and they're gonna have a, a bouncy battle cat. Oh my gosh, I'd die. Guys, look at the size of this guy. <laughs> That's no joke, like a four foot tall plush dinosaur. That's pretty awesome. I got a Sesame Street guitar here. <laughs> couple of Blue's Clues carrying cases, I guess. Um, let's go look over here. Yeah, guys, 
just like I'm finding with a lot of thrift stores in my area. I got a lot of like toddler and little kids toys. Uh, let's look over here and see what's over here. Not sure what that is. Uh, this guy looks kind of cool. Let's see. Not sure what he's to. Oh, I might have to check on him. He's kind of cool. I like him. And then right beside him was this guy. He's pretty cool too. Not sure what these guys are from. This guy says 2002 Hasbro. So I'll check on him as well. All right, guys, we got some kind of uh, Power Rangers. Power Rangers police vehicle. That's interesting. Um, let's see, what else is there? What's this? Not sure what that is. There's another dyno. He looks pretty cool. Looks like he might be like a Fisher Price or Imagine Next or something though. Uh, let's see. 2004 Mattel. Huh. All right, well, I got some dinos to check on here. Looks like we got a couple Batmobiles. Ah, uh, some Imagine X stuff. It's the McDonald's toys. Hero clicks. Oh, there's a Spock. It's a Funko Mystery Mini Spock. Looks like a Jon Snow. Huh. All right, so this is a Treasure X dinosaur. Uh, he looks cool, but I don't collect Treasure X really. Um, he's worth about five bucks on eBay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave him. This dude is an Imaginext dinosaur. I'm gonna leave him. This guy is a Star Wars Attack of the Clones Reek. Um, they want $3 for him. He sells on eBay for between $15 and $20. Uh, but I'm just gonna pick him up for my personal collection. I'm definitely grabbing him. All right guys, well they do have, like I said, a couple bins full of bags here. So we're gonna look through these real quick. Uh, no idea what these are. It's like some McDonald's toys. More McDonald's toys. These things are everywhere, man. <laughs> uh, look, more. Crazy. What's this? What in the world is that? That looks kind of cool. These feel like die cast. They're like dinosaur construction vehicles. Huh. Uh, it's like a little people's thing. Some baby toys. What's this? Uh, oh, it looks like some Wreck-It Ralph miniatures or something. Huh. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Not sure what that is. Let's spin this thing around here. What's this? Uh, some baby toys. Little people. Mm. Looks like some Barbie stuff. Oh, what's this? Got a couple Power Rangers here. Hmm. And this guy looks cool. Uh, I'll check these and see if they're worth anything. I don't collect Power Rangers, but see if they sell for anything. What else do we have here? We got, uh, is that Loki? That is Loki. Got some kind of a Loki figure there. $5.99. Wow. Uh, bag of balls. 
Daisy Duck. Some more McDonald's toys. Not sure who that dude is. Got some army vehicles with him. More McDonald's toys. <laughs> wow, what is this? look kind of cool. Interesting. That guy's cool. I like the purple. Huh. Anything else down in here? There's a beast boy. What's this? LOL dolls. Ooh, there's an elephant. A tiger. That looks old. Hmm. There's a bag with Shrek. <laughs> and uh, Sully from Monsters, Inc. Looks like some cake toppers or something. There's a bunch of uh, MLPs. Oh, there's a big one in there. I'm uh, not sure what that is. McDonald's toys. There's some Ryan's World crap. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what else is down here. Some die cast. There's a wily e. coyote there with some farm animals and some tarantulas. <laughs> and nothing down here. Right, guys, they do have a pretty big board game section here. So uh, just looking through here. I don't see anything right off the bat that jumps out at me as uh, vintage or anything that I need to pick up, but uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. All right guys, so I checked the games, I checked the plush, nothing really else in there, but look at this. How many of you guys watched Everybody Loves Raymond? Like, is that Raymond's mom's couch or what? <laughs> All they need is like a plastic slip cover over it all right guys look at this this is a quite the huge media section for uh for a thrift store pretty impressive let's go look and see uh we can find some vhs or some cds or something good all right guys a couple things so far i've looked through all these dvds already i mean these cds already i found a couple things of interest uh i found this rod stewart it had to be you, the Great American Songbook. It's not a bad one. I might grab that one. Uh, and then I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I've never seen this. Aerosmith, honking on Bobo. Blues done Aerosmith style. So I, uh, I'm not sure. I've never heard this. I've never seen this, but it looks interesting. Um, the other thing is, look at all these cds all like these bins are full of cds <laughs> so uh probably not going to stand around looking at all these but uh i'll let you know if i find anything that jumps out at me guys i hate to keep harping on it because i know i've showed you this a couple times already but just i mean i'm i'm amazed at the volume of media that this place has all these are dvds like this on the other aisle, the other side of this aisle, right here, that whole thing is full of DVDs as well. Like, it's incredible. And then there's more DVDs over there. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, guys, believe it or not, I did find a bin with some VHS tapes in it. <laughs> um, George C. Scott, A Christmas Carol. That's a possibility. Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones, but I have that already. Some Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. I think there's another bin over here, too. Oh, yeah, here's another. Here's another big bin with some VHS. CBS sneak peek. Love gets better with sex, sex gets better with love. Okay, <laughs> ooh la la. Guys, I'm gonna look through these. I'll, uh, 
I'll let you know if I find anything good. Guys, look at this. This is what I need right here to uh, to pour my milk on my Fruit Loops every morning. The Toucan Sam. <laughs> Looks like it's chipped a little bit right there. How much do they want with that? Five ninety nine. Eh, I'm probably gonna pass. I wouldn't use it, but it's kind of cool. Guys, look at this. I just found you know that that thumbs up Jesus. <laughs> I just found uh, a little statue of him. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Like, you know, the meme Jesus is what he is, I guess. Like, way to go, dude. How much is this? 99 cents? Uh, I might pick that up. That's kind of funny. All right, guys. So that was Liberty Thrift, Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. Man, that place was huge, guys. Um, I don't know. Overall, not not bad as far as toys go. Um, not the greatest I've seen. I still think that Second Avenue thrift place uh, had way more toys. More, I think that's the biggest toy section I've ever seen at a thrift store. Um, this place wasn't too bad, though. Had some decent stuff. Um, I found that Star Wars uh, Beast, which I'll show you in a second. I did pick him up. Um, a lot of games, a lot of puzzles, a lot of kids' books. Um, I didn't have really time to stand there and look at a lot of the books and stuff. I would have loved to, but... Didn't really have time for that. Um, it's about 20 minute drive from me, or for me, from my house. I would say it's probably worth it to hit him up, uh, you know, every couple weeks or something for me. Um, I was amazed at their media section, as you could probably tell in my video. <laughs> but definitely, it's a huge store. If you guys are in the area and you need furniture, that it's mostly furniture in there. They got tons and tons and tons of, of used furniture. So if you're looking for that, definitely come check this place out. If you're looking for used CDs and DVDs, definitely come check this place out. If you're looking for toys and vintage toys, eh, you know, you might find something. Let me show you what I got. All right, guys. So the first thing I did pick up is the 2002 Star Wars Attack of the Clones. This is the Reek Arena Battle Beast. You guys know when Obi-Wan and uh, Padme and them are put in the arena, this is the battle beast that they fight. This is really cool. I, like I said in the store, I saw on eBay, this guy sells loose like this for between between 15 and $25. Um, in the box, I saw him selling for $35, $40. Uh, but I don't need it in the box. I think this is cool. I'll just uh, put him on the shelf. I love the detail on it. It's real, I don't, I don't think I've ever even actually seen this before in person. Um, at least not, you know, loose. To where I could touch it and look at it. It's really detailed, really cool. I think it's electronic. It has like a button here on the bottom where it makes him kind of lunge forward. I don't know if you can tell. Can't really tell the way I'm doing it with one hand, but it's cool. Trust me. <laughs> Happy to pick him up. I'm going to definitely add him to my Star Wars shelf. And then I also picked up this Hoosiers uh, movie on VHS. It is still sealed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's factory sealed or resealed. It doesn't have a UPC code on it, so I'm not really sure. But either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to open it up anyway. Um, one of my favorite, all-time favorite sports movies. Hoosiers is right up there with, like, Rudy, in my opinion. Um, this is from the mid-'80s. I remember watching this when I was a kid. And, like, I cried, and I was, you know, cheered. And, yeah, I'm one of those dorks. But, <laughs> yeah, I thought it's really... Really cool that I found this. One of my favorite 80s sports movies for sure. Um, so I definitely had to pick this up. And it was only 50 cents, so I couldn't pass it up. Guys, that's what I picked up today at Liberty Thrift. Uh, at the Big Liberty Thrift, Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. Um, actually, when I got up to the counter, the lady was like, uh, it's $3.50, so $3.75 total. She said, but you have $7.75 loyalty points. Do you want to use that? And I'm like sure so uh got that stuff for free today thank you liberty thrift they gave me a gift today um i didn't pick up the jesus statue now that i know that it probably would have been free i kind of wish i would have uh and the aerosmith cd but it's okay i'm happy with what i got um so guys that's it i, I appreciate you guys for being here coming along with me today uh, i'm gonna get out of here it's getting dark and windy and we're supposed to get that uh that tropical storm coming our way today uh, hailstones and thunder and lightning and all that stuff. The wind's really picking up. Uh, I'm seeing little speckles on my windshield already. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you all so much for coming along. 
Uh, if you haven't already, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. If you want to copy my links and put them on your Facebook pages or your Instagram, or tell your friends and family, guys, I would sincerely appreciate all of that. Um, thank you again for coming along with me, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Later.